Hello there everyone, the Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 29 of our Enigmatica 6 Let's Play. Uh, where today, if you remember last episode, um, if you didn't catch after the end of last episode, I added an extra little segment at the end, because I had sat here for a while, as you can see if we look at our ender pearls, we have quite a few. Um, I sat here and let this run for a while and ended up picking up some of the experience too, so I want to see in how much of that I ended up grabbing. But the uh, Vinculotus kind of does not work very well for our purpose. It seems to, if an Enderman teleports, it will, it doesn't teleport them back or pull them back to its exact location. It pulls them back to the area, which I'm assuming in a normal situation would work great. However, for us, what it's doing is causing the Enderman to teleport here, or here, or here. And they're not getting sucked back into our player damage trap. So if you saw the end of last episode, we had Endermen pretty much everywhere. It was uh, a little bit intense to, you know, slay them all. But, uh, yeah, so I've turned this off for now. We need to figure out a better solution. I also want to figure out a better solution for the player damage trap, because though it does work uh, for Endermen specifically, and maybe other mobs too, we really haven't done anything other than Blaze, it's not the fastest. Um, so I do want to look into doing something like, say, a modular router with a player damage upgrade. So modular routers is a mod that is in the pack that it, it, it can kind of do a lot of different things. Um, like it can pull items from a chest. It can push items to a chest. It can activate blocks. It has a breaker module. Um, but one of the modules that it has is a player module. And if you put, say, a sword in the modular router's inventory, it can use the sword um, and it counts as a player doing the kills. And the advantage with that is you can use a sword that has say looting three on it. So you can get more drops and do more damage from that item. Uh, so that's something we're gonna definitely look into. What I'm gonna do is grab all of our ender pearls. Our ender pearl problem is solved, I would say. It has been our bottleneck for a lot of different things, and I don't think we're gonna have to worry about it too much anymore. Our mana, as you can see here, we uh, ended up with almost a quarter of a mana pool. We still have a little bit in our spreader and pretty much none in our Rosa Arcana. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our band of mana, and we're just gonna absorb what is in here. Uh, function mode, please. Yeah, fill that guy up. So we'll just absorb what's in here. We don't need, if we need it again, it'll run and it'll fill back up with mana. So it's not that big of a deal that we uh, take all of the mana out of there and it fills up our band of mana so that we, uh, well, have that ready for us to use later. So let's pop home real quick and dump off all of these ender pearls and see what we wanna work on today. My thought process here and my thinking is that I'd like to get into, wow, we have a, <laughs> we have a lot of ender pearls. Check that out. We went from having none to 268 ender pearls. And I only AFK'd over there for about two hours. So, I mean, looting isn't really 100% necessary, to be honest, based on how well that worked. But why not have it? Why not get even more? Plus, it gives us something to play with later. So let's also see uh, experience. We have a total of 4.3 thousand experience in here. Let's see how many levels that is equivalent to, because we are gonna wanna do a little bit more enchanting, which it looks like we'll be able to. We have 46 levels, sweet. So, oops, we'll be able to get into, uh, do a little bit of enchanting here. And yeah, that sets us up for next couple episodes, really, to, for what we're gonna do. But what I wanna work on is, I think, I think we're gonna go and check out resourceful bees. I think we wanna get into bees and see what we can do with bees. Here's our problem. This mod pack has, uh, I believe it's called Terra Forged, which is the mod pack that makes all of the awesome biomes and you know the the world gen with the giant mountains and all of that stuff fantastic however it does change up where bees spawn because some bees spawn in very specific areas so if we look for example if i want the um we do want the wither bee eventually but if i want the coal bee right 
So it says that this will spawn in a seasonal forest, a seasonal taiga, and a seasonal birch forest. I don't know necessarily that I have run across in all of my travels. Okay, I lied. There's a seasonal forest right over here, which is fantastic. Um, but with those biomes, there's not necessarily going to be all bees easy to find is what I'm trying to get at here. So we're going to have to see where we end up. But we're going to go do a little bit of... Um, little bit of exploring and I'll most likely do it off camera maybe we'll do a few cuts here showing me grabbing all of these bees but we want to get the bees so that we can do the setup of the bees and we can uh, automate it I've watched a couple videos to see how to do it and see what you know it all entails and everything so we should be pretty good and automate start automating some resources and getting us you know passive obsidian gen or copper and all that cool stuff so yeah uh, anyway also found out this item exists, which is called a bee box, and it can hold 10 bees inside of it. So I wanted to check the recipe on this, and it looks like we need bee wax, bees wax. So I cannot do this just yet. But what it does is it allows you to hold 10 bees inside of it instead of these individual um, bee jars that hold, well, one, and they fill up your inventory. Granted, we do have a backpack, so it's not that big of a deal, but, uh, it would have been nice. But for now, we'll just make some bee jars. It's not that big a deal. Okay, so we need glass. I keep feeling like I'm requesting like stacks of glass at a time, and then I never have any glass available to use when I actually want to use it. Oh, well. Um, okay, so we wanted bee jars. Empty bee jars, to be specific. How many of those can we make now? That's four... Another six. I'd like to get up to ten, maybe. That does use quite a bit of glass, though, and I don't did not keep track of how much I made. So, I mean, I made a stack, but I don't know necessarily if that's going to be enough. But yeah, because it was what one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, a stack is about what we could, or ten is about what we can make with that stack. So yeah, let's uh, continue on. Our Britannia area is looking really nice over here. Uh, we have all of our mana inside of this guy. He's a little bit over half, and we still have... Uh, oh, actually, the AFK let that spread as it should have. Good. So this is our mana. We have a little bit over half there. And I could put some more coal in here um, if I wanted to and let these run while we are gone. Oh, look, these endo flames Have mana. Oh, so it's still... Still transferring? I'm in bind mode. Yeah, that mana, that mana spreader is there, right? And you, I mean the man, the beam is there, so it's sending mana. I think it's just draining from these guys. You should be bound there. There we go. Oh, so those didn't all bind prop. They they bound to this one, not that one. So I'll have to. I mean, to be honest, it's really not that big a deal. All the mana ends up in here anyway, so it doesn't necessarily have to be in there. Well, let's let's fix these first two rows at least. And then we'll uh, we'll start our adventure. I'll fix those off camera because it's going to take a while to make sure that all of them are pointing at the right um, thing. Anyway, uh, seasonal forest. Where was that at? That is in this direction. A coal bee would be nice because it would help us uh, get more coal so that we can um, get our mana generated. May not need to switch to a different flower if we can just spam endo flames like that, you know? Sleep, sleep. Also with, I don't remember, uh, is it Alex's mobs? I think that adds the, all of these. Well, that's a donkey. That's a Minecraft. But like the gazelles. Yeah, Alex mobs. Normally what I would do is look on the map to see where bees are because they show up as a white dot because they are a modded entity um, however 
all of the Alex mobs show up as a white dot as well. So finding bees is going to be a little bit more difficult. Ah, that freaking yucca. I always forget about that stuff and I run right into it. But yeah, anyways, we can't look for the white dots to see if we uh, found a bee like we could in the nether because there wasn't very many modded mobs in the nether. But hey, look, we have a bee. Our first bee. What kind of bee are you? A kitten bee. You stop creepers, I'm going to assume. Uh, let's see. Kitten bee. What do you do? Uh, right click for more info. You make catnip honeycomb. And catnip honeycomb can be used to make a honey dipper. That's just honey stuff. Bum, bum, bum. Honestly, I don't know. It gets centrifuged into... Oh, a cat spawn egg. Oh, 1% chance for a cat spawn egg. And 50% chance for some beeswax. Oh, so it does make cats, I guess. Cool. All right, let me, uh, let me go and try and find us. Where was that seasonal forest at? We have a long way to go still. So let me cut here and find some bees as we find them. I will pop back in, let y'all see what kind of bees we get. And yeah, we'll be right back. Well, we found another RGB at least. So we'll snag that guy up. Can I also say I hate, oh, there's a creeper. Well, I hate creepers, but these flies, where is, oh look, a beeper bee. We got another one. That is a creeper bee. I think it makes gunpowder. Um, but there are flies in these forests, and they look like bees. They're flying around. I'm looking for a coal bee, which is going to be a darker colored bee, and these flies are darker colors, so I keep looking at them, and I get excited, and then it turns out to be a freaking fly. That is annoying. Uh, but yeah, we'll come back if... Uh, oh, what do we see here? Is that the vanilla Minecraft bee? Yeah. We'll come back if we uh, see any more interesting bees. And here we go. We found our coal bee. Took a little bit. Got to the pretty much end of this forest. But, hey, we got him. Also, found another astral sorcery temple. I'm about to just, like, start destroying these things and grabbing the loot. Because, like, these are supposed to be rare. But they have not been. At all. As you guys know, we have, like, five by our base. So I'll just grab some of the junk that's in them and uh yeah oh i actually wanted those roses and i want the sunflowers because we can make dyes from those and that's appetite ore okay yeah so let's see what other bees are we gonna be after oh another village maybe there's a beekeeper in the village which does trade us some stuff i don't have any emeralds with me so that's not going to help me too much but Eh, there might be other good stuff that we can get. Like a farmer with wheat selling stuff. Or buying stuff so we can get emeralds. Oh, I also, before I forget, um, I also learned about the, it's the At Torch Master Mega Torch. I'm going to make a Mega Torch uh, when we get back to our base. This stops mobs in a big radius. And I don't know what the config is, but... Default is a 64 block radius around the torch. Just stops mobs from spawning, period. That would work great around our base. We put two or three around our base. We're not going to have to worry about mobs anymore. Who needs an astral sorcery ritual when you can just... Oh, look, emeralds. But yeah, who needs an astral sorcery ritual when you can just, uh, you know, stop mobs from spawning, period. I don't know, but why not? Uh, anything else interesting in this village? It doesn't look like it. So, oh look, there's a uh, nether mobobby over there. So let's see. Okay, so we got our coal bee. So at resourceful. What else bee? Uh, an iron bee would be nice. We got an aluminum bee. Um, let's, let's bookmark the bees that we would want. I don't know if we necessarily need a blaze bee because we have blaze bees. And these are only, or we have a, a blaze spawner. These are only going to be found in the nether anyway. So, um, I mean, if a brass bee really exists in the world, 
spawns in the world false it does not so there we go you can see that right here this is all the information about the bees by the way you can see what their parents are because you can breed bees uh here so this is a brass bee mixed with a brass bee makes a brass bee that is a copper bee mixed with a zinc bee there we go i was like uh that don't make no sense but yeah copper and zinc will make brass and then you get a brass bee um so let's see let's see let's see uh a clay bee cool we got a coal bee let's get a copper bee we got the beeper bee a diamond bee would be fantastic let's uh let's go to sleep bee <laughs> get it get it sleepy yeah bad puns you'll find them all over this channel continuing um bum, 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 bum. so we had the coal bee constant beeper diamond electrum and emerald bee would be cool ender bee we're not going to find that until we get to the end but hey it'd be cool to have a ghast bee glowstone bee a gold bee i think we have a gravel bee that's a icy bee iron bee lapis lead oh we have a quartz let's get nickel an obsidian bee would be nice we do not have obsidian generating anywhere a redstone bee rgb we have a sand bee would be cool silver would be nice um a slimy bee Let's see where we can find that a uranium bee and a zinc bee the uranium bee spawns in the world it does mangrove marshes ebony woods vibrant swamplands we got a lot of exploring to do to find all of these bees now don't we um Okay, so let's see. Let's start out. Let's start out with something simple, a clay bee. Probably Great Lakes, Dead Sea, Maple Taiga. I have a maple wood. I think there's like a maple forest. You think that a maple forest is equivalent to a maple taiga? Not mm, I don't know. I don't know. It just has the word maple in it, so I'm thinking maybe we can find a clay bee in here. Maybe we'll get lucky. I know that there's turkeys in here, but maybe like a maple forest and a maple taiga or or dictionary. Is there a biome or dictionary? There's a Tasmanian devil. Just looking for out for the white dots. That'll tell us where if we run into anything. There's lava just pouring out from the side of this mountain. There's also water, but they're not near each other. Um are you nope you're a turkey is there a random villager oh oh is this a witch's hut looks to be let's see maple maple are we still in the maple forest we are but i'm not seeing any bees how about you are you a bee no you're a turkey like i said it's gonna be finding these things is gonna be the hardest part of getting them going we should be able to breed them pretty easily depending on their resources um but yeah finding them initially is gonna be the hard part so we'll come back when i find something interesting okay uh as you can see we are back home i decided instead of also i'm just now noticing since i reloaded the game because this is a new week and like i said i record my sessions in bulk the um external storage down here stopped connecting it's a known issue and it's not with like enigmatica 6 it is a known issue with refined storage or simple drawers i don't remember exactly which one um but it's been around since 1.12 uh, or 1.12 i don't know if i ever experienced it before but yeah apparently it's a known issue with these things and they just disconnect uh you can either break the external storage or you can break the controller since we only have one breaking the external storage is easier but if we ever set up another drawer system every time i log in i'm gonna have to come down here and break this controller in order for us to have access to all of our stuff which is kind of sort of annoying but it is what it is but yeah, uh, back at my base because I found or remembered that the nature's compass exists. Instead of me hunting around looking for all these biomes and trying to, you know, oh, is that a is that a maple forest? Is that a maple taiga or whatever? A nature's compass allows us to find said biomes pretty easily. And it was a quest, apparently. So let's go and check out where we got stuff from. Probably adventure? Yes. And we got some experience seven levels worth 
look at that. We can put our Wand of the Forest away. We can put all our experience away. We do need to get a holding enchanted onto this because I'm pretty sure it can be enchanted with holding. Yes. That way it can hold, you know, a lot more, but I don't want to at the moment. Let's go ahead and put this um, paper away. I keep ending up with an Astral Tome in my inventory and I'm not entirely sure where it comes from because I have it in my Akashic Tome, but it keeps showing up in my inventory. So I'm just gonna leave that one there. Oh, look. I remember many moons ago, many episodes ago, we had Constellation Paper and it's gone. So that's a bummer. So I guess what I'm gonna do is use this Astral Tome that I keep getting and put it in there and not trust the Akashic Tome to not let me down. How about that, yeah? Yeah. Anyway, Nature's Compass. So, example, Clay Bee, Great Lakes, Dead Sea, Maple Taiga. So what we can do is just go here and we can uh, Maple Taiga. Let's see how far away a maple taiga is. And it's gonna start searching, and there is one 4,000 blocks away. Okay, let's check out a dead sea. That is only 2,000 blocks away, so that one's not that far. Or let's do Great Lakes. Start search, 25,000, or I'm sorry, not even found. It sampled 24,000 blocks, a radius of 10,000. There are no Great Lakes nearby, but the Dead Sea was. So you can see here the compass will point you to where where it's at, it gives you the coordinates, and it gives you a like live GPS tracking of how far away said biome is. So we are gonna go travel 3,000 blocks this way essentially and go get ourselves a clay bee. And hopefully the other bees are gonna be in this same area too because yeah, trying to find more is going to be a pain. So we'll be back. Okay, we are out here in the Dead Sea, which I'm going to be honest, this place actually looks kind of cool. The gray water, it's not very dead because there's some jellyfish, which I should go kill because those are slimes. But eh, I saw a clay bee around here. So let's go and find him. I'm also going to need to refill my uh, hydrogen soon. I tried not to do much flying on their way over here. Where did you go, Mr. B? I saw the bee. He was here. There he is. Hey, hey. I think you're a clay bee. Yeah, look, there we go. That was much more effective versus uh, trying to just randomly chase down bees. So let's uh, try and go to sleep here. Well, it's not time yet. Okay, so we got a clay bee, bam. Uh, an iron bee would be my next get if I could. And then maybe we'll go back to our base, set up the bee area where we're going to have all these bees. And then we can, I can go off camera in between episodes and go try and find some more. So we're looking for an amaranth fields, a crag gardens, or a cherry blossom. I know I have run into a cherry blossom before. I'm going to say cherry blossom forest. 639. That's not that bad. Just right over there. So let's go ahead and sleep. Sleepy sleep. And doop. let's head this direction, right? That way. And go see if we can't find ourselves a, what was it I was looking at? Iron bee, yes. And while we're here, I'm gonna grab this beehive. As long as there's no bees in it, I don't wanna, you know, hurt any bees that are already in it, but if it's empty, and it is, I'll grab it. Let's grab this other clay bee too, because Tier one of our uh, beehives can hold four bees in it. And yeah, so we can have one hive area with four clay bees. That's four times the clay generation, right? Right. This ore always messes me up. This is what, tin? The colors, the back colors always throw me off. Osmium. From a distance, it's just very bright. So it looks kind of like, a, I'd say it looks a little bit diamondy but it's not that bright. I'm just colorblind, you know? All right, um, well, we're almost there. I was gonna cut, but we're not that far away. So if I could eat, that means we can sprint, and that means we can get there even faster. 
So let's head this way and see what we can find. Maybe we'll find another bee along the way. Who knows? What is this over here? I've seen this biome before. This is like basalt something. Basalt something or other. These structures look interesting though. The way that it just formed into like this perfect structure. Uh, is there anything in these? Somebody let me know if I'm running past and there's like amazingly good treasure inside of these and I am just running past them like an idiot. You know, maybe there's like 500 nether stars in there and I'm just never going to get them because I just ran past. Who knows? All of you bad guys, get into the light. Y'all hiding under these bushes and all these trees like, like it's going to do you something. All right, what do we got? Tasmanian Devils. We are looking for a Iron Bee, I think it was. Grizzly Bears, we have discovered, are aggressive if we hang around them too long. So let's just let that guy go. We don't need to mess with him too much. We'll stay out of his hair if he stays out of ours. All right. Uh, I will be back if we find an iron bee. Hopefully, pray for me that there is one in here. Regular bee. Trixie, Trixie. And what do you know, 15 seconds after I stopped recording, we got a bee. Oh, he just went into the hive. Oh, no, come out. I don't have, I don't have a smoker. Oh, I should have grabbed him. If I get him out of the hive now, they're going to be ticked off at me. And they're not going to... They're going to try and sting me, and they won't live. Oh, my goodness. I should have just grabbed him. I was waiting. I wanted you all to see that I got him, and... Oh, there he is. Get over here. Get over here. Why can't I get you? Seriously, why can't I? This sunflower. There we go. Um, What other bee is in here? He's going to be mad at me, but I can grab him. Maybe he won't be so mad at me uh, when I let him out of his jar. Yeah, that's a, you know, that makes sense. Stick him in a jar, let him calm down, and he won't be mad at me that I put him in the jar, and he won't be mad at me that I took him away from his home, right? That's how this works? Yeah, I'm not thinking so. All right, let's see. What else do we got? Um, pum, 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 pum. Our base stuff. Lead, nickel would be nice. Gosh, all of these would be nice. We need to get all of them. Oh, Twilight Valley weeping. And you know what I'm not doing is looking to see if, oh, maybe uh, this bee could also spawn in this location. Tropical rainforest, like a coniferous forest, uh, snowy coniferous forest, ancient forest. Yeah, let's just validate that these all are in different. So lead and nickel. I just happened to click on the same one twice. Okay, never mind. No, you're in the end. So we're not going to get an obsidian bee for a while. Snowy deciduous, and I think you were snowy coniferous. Snowy deciduous. So we can find a diamond and a osmium bee in the same area. You are found in the ocean, apparently. Not in a desert. That's interesting. You would think they'd be found in a desert. Omnino Valley, Enchanted Forest, Lush Tundra. You do not spawn in the world. You were made from a zombie and a clay bee. Tin bee. So it looks like, except for those two, which was what? The Osmium and the Diamond. Every one of these is in its own separate biome. Now these can be bred. Gold bee and a Lapis bee. So if I found a Gold bee and a Lapis bee, I can breed them into a Diamond bee. It depends, I guess, on how far away uh, the snowy, what was it, snowy, goodness, I can't remember, uh, seasonal deciduous, right? We can knock two out at the same time. Snowy deciduous. Ah, I'm a liar anyway. This is seasonal. This is snowy. So it ain't even in the same biome. Great. So yeah, it is one at a time. So let's go through and get to these spots and we're gonna do a quick cut here. I'm gonna have a series of just bam, 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 bam. We're gonna get all of these bees and yeah, go from there. All right, so we will be back. Get it, get it, be back. I'm so sorry.
Okay, we're back, and let me tell you, I need to stop with these exploration episodes. Oh my goodness, I am refilling my jetpack here real quick because, well, I mean, it wasn't out, but goodness gracious, we were close. As you can see, I got all the bees, I got a boat, I got, I found some waystones while we were out and about, and yeah. Exploration episodes. I'm let me tell you, I have been running around for probably about a good hour, hour and a half to find all of these bees. Well, luckily, once I got to the biomes, f actually finding the bees wasn't that terrible. But my goodness, getting to where we needed to go was a nightmare. So we boated, f walked, walked. And boated some more up to here into this is the coniferous forest and boated down we found some guardian temples let me see i think i i finally bookmarked after i got over to like i don't even know after i got over to like here i was like oh my goodness i'm i'm not paying attention to anything else i'm just going following this compass straight ahead uh used caps lock auto walk and basically just said let's go um, anyway, uh, we ran into multiple guardian temples on our way, and I finally decided, hey, let's bookmark one. And we ended up with a waystone right here, too, which is right next to it, which is lucky. And so I marked that waystone, so we have a waystone marked guardian temple. Um, and I found another one, and there's another one next to it. And I mean, that's not even all of them. Like, there's a bunch. But if we go here, we can teleport to the guardian temple if we had experience. I needed to disable that thing. But anyway that's it for this episode if you liked what you've seen please feel free to like comment and subscribe on the video it really helps especially today with an episode like this where i've been recording one episode for like an hour oh by the way um nickleby could not find the uh i could not find a bayou grassland plateau or glow shroom bio so nickleby uh is it breedable it is breedable how do you make it? A copper bee and a nickel bee, a nickel and an iron. That, that You can breed it for, uh, man, we need to find one of these because it makes the constant and invar bee. Um, we'll have to figure something out about the nickel bee. Maybe if we go head south or something, we can go find it. Let's just, because we were pretty far north. Let's see, bayou, grassland, plateau. Bayou, nothing. And it was a glow shroom bayou. Nothing. And grassland plateau. Oh, we found a grassland plateau now that we're back home. So in between episodes, I'm going to go get this guy. And that way we have all the bees. In next episode, we can start breeding these guys and getting them going. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next one.